And that's what the future of stand-up solutions is. Government applications. I got a question. How many people here trust their elected officials? Boo! Throw, throw them out with the stinky cabbage, mate! The elected officials, they get into power and they, they just can't help themselves. They get bribed and they take the bribes and they, you know, they can be corrupted, they can be gotten to. They can be put on a private jet, flown to an island, Epstein. All these things can happen to them. They can, they can, be, they can be gotten to. But AI can't be bribed. A fully AI democracy. Now we went ahead and did a test in, uh, in, this, in Wisconsin. This is Portage County in Wisconsin. If you're running for president in the United States, you're gonna be spending a lot of time in Wisconsin. And if you're spending a lot of time in Wisconsin, you're gonna be spending a lot of time in Portage, Wisconsin. This county specifically went for Obama, then it went for Trump, then it went for Biden. It can tip the whole state one way or the other. It's an incredibly important county and, and we, we, we went there and we asked all the registered Republicans and we asked all the registered Democrats, can we have your 5G data? <laughs> And they said, yes, we took their data. We took all their, unrestricted, we took all their data. Everything that they're saying on Discord, everything that they're saying in the middle of the night, uh, really loud over Xbox Live anonymously. You know, everything that you type into the text bubble and then you say, actually, wait a minute, I, before you send you, go, that's maybe too far, I don't want that out there in the world, and you delete it, we still get that. <laughs> take all that information, and we created fully avatar AI candidates that can go on the news, that can answer questions, that can debate one another, and they don't have to guess what their constituencies wants them to do, because we have everybody's actual thoughts and feelings directly in their private chats, and we put them directly into the AI's brain, so they don't ever have to guess. And we created a face and a name based on what people like and their interests. We, we created an a AI Republican candidate based on what people actually like and what they look at most on the internet, and the AI Republican candidate's name is Yeti Bareback Breeding. <laughs> and the cool thing about this is he doesn't have to guess, like, what's the number one thing that my constituency cares about? He can just, we could just take the number one thing that they care about and put it directly into his, his brain. And the number one thing that registered Republicans care about, what he's running on his campaign promise, is to get white actors back into commercials. <laughs> Now we went ahead and did the exact same process with the uh, d registered Democrats, and we created a registered Dem we created a Democratic candidate, and that candidate's name is Coxari. <laughs> and he's running on the campaign promise of getting the West Wing back on television. <laughs> And the cool thing about this is you don't have to vote. You don't have to go to your polling place. Just use your phone. We take all of that information, we tabulate it into a vote, and a winner is declared by 5G. It's incredible. 